I want to start with some questions. Um, how do we advocate for open research and uh, software sustainability practices in our institutions? How can we push back against project work and policies that perpetuate systemic inequalities and biases, like Dr. Jones discussed in her amazing keynote just now? How can we make our workplaces uh, fairer and more inclusive for everybody who is there? And what do activism and advocacy actually mean to you in your work and in your understanding of the world around you? Um, there are many times where researchers and RSEs want to work to change something about their workplace, government policy or society. Now more than ever, I think we're aware of our responsibilities to consider the broader impacts and implications of our work. But there are actually limited accessible resources on where to begin with these types of civic, this type of civic activism, and it can be quite daunting. Um, the Turing Way is an open source uh, community led project covering five different guides that aim to help researchers and RSEs do their best open, collaborative, reproducible, um, inclusive work. It's Ethics Guide's latest chapter on activism and advocacy put together by myself and Laura Carter and other contributors is now open for more contributions and feedback on its initial content, which cover unionization, internal policy advocacy and whistleblowing. We're keen to expand it with more topics and more examples. And I want to take the opportunity this afternoon at Collaborations Workshop 21 to discuss the questions I raised at the beginning of my talk in more depth both, uh, both as a microblog and hopefully as potential content to add to the chapter. Um, so if you'd like to talk more about this, please join me then. Um, thank you.